Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at using the Pro Q3 to create some tonal variations in a sound to help bring out certain moments in your track. So I have here this track that I've been working on. It's actually coming along quite nice. I'm going to start us right here, but the subject of interest is in this little section right here. So we're just going to listen through to this just so you get acclimated to the style and, and what's going on in the track. So uh, here we go. So it's pretty grooving. It's got it's got the grooves. And what we're going to do is look at this. So in this middle section right here where everything's sort of going on, I have this pluck synth. And this pluck synth has this uh, Pro-Q3 moving around doing some cool filtering stuff. And as I was working with it, there were moments that as I began to add more sounds, because this pluck synth is a layer of a bigger melodic idea, it carries the main melodic idea, but there are things like a sub bass patch and a few other things that come in to support uh, different melodic elements. So it's like I kind of see them as one giant hybrid instrument, almost like a tiny arrangement unto itself. And so this pluck bass, there are times where I wanted it to come out and be a bit brighter or be a bit darker. And I, I've added some uh, some of these EQ curves to add to that. In fact, if we come in here really quick and just solo this. Uh, this is what it sounds like. So if I add in the EQ curve, because right there, a very flat profile. Um, as you, When you do this, you add like different characteristics to the sound. So that as you move around, um, it's going to just get get character at different moments, so to speak. Now, the, I'm talking about just adding some occasional peaks, just making the spectrum uneven. And then I added some automation to dynamically move that around to bring out characteristics of the melody. So we get these like wah, moments and things like that. So it's a subtle thing, not super big. All I'm doing, by the way, is I added in these peaks and then I decided to automate this one. How you automate is going to depend on your DAW. Uh, in FL Studio, what you do is you, you would select the band and then you would go to Browse Parameters and then you would move the thing you want to automate. And it will show you the control. You right click it and go to Create Automation Clip. And a lot of DAWs, uh, it'll bring up like, you'll have like just this massive list you have to sift through. And it's basically this list, but you have to find it yourself. Uh, it depends on the DAW again. But that's how you would get the automation in FL Studio. So I'm moving this, this uh, band, specifically the lower band around, because this is going to give me some more nasally passages. And I can also give it a much lower texture, this crazy sort of boost going on down there. Um, and by itself, it's... You know, not the most apparent thing, but when we toss it into a mix, let's remove the Pro-Q3 for the moment and just hear it without it. Just listen to this small loop. All right, now let's add it in and check out how this helps highlight different aspects of the phrase as we move along. So one more time, let's go ahead and this time I'll bypass it here. So it's a little more obvious. So I've got it bypassed. Let's just listen to this little section. And then let's go ahead, let's add it in. And that 
that is what I like to use this for all the time. It's a great way to subtly bring things out. There is a gain adjustment that happens because we are doing a boost here. So that happens as well. But at the same time, this is, I don't see this as a level change. It is a level change for sure. You're going to have to adjust for that. But I see this EQ specifically here for sound design purposes. I'm not sweating levels right now. I'm, I'm just being creative and looking for ways that I can blend sounds a little bit better to make like one bigger sound. So it's much more of a sound design thinking process. Uh, but that is one thing you can do with the Pro-Q3. This is one of the very common things I like to do. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day.